I locked my door. I took days. I began to pray. And Jesus told me, He said, What is preaching is the message of Paul. They are the revelations of Paul. They are not my revelations. Check what I did while I was alive. I casted out demons, I casted out evil spirits. He said, Even Peter warned you to be careful of the letters of Paul. Peter warned you. At this point, he misinterprets what Apostle Peter wrote in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 16, and said that Peter was warning people not to listen or read what Paul wrote. If you ask me, Suleiman is a true description of this scripture, an irresponsible, untaught, and unstable preacher who twists and misinterpret the scripture to match his own claims. Some things Paul writes are difficult to understand irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about twist them <laughs> this is peter who know paul more than you do you know paul peter that know paul is talking here he said difficult or irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about twist it twist them every which way they do it to rest to the rest of the scripture too destroying themselves as they do it Peter was confused as of Paul's writings. This is Peter that was with Jesus firsthand. Was saying this thing Paul is saying. This is not, it's not the exact way it is. But let us read the scripture from verse 14 to get the context of what Apostle Peter was writing about. And remember why he is waiting. He is giving us time to get his message of salvation out to others. Our wise and beloved brother Paul has talked about these same things in many of his letters. Some of his comments are not easy to understand, and there are people who are deliberately stupid and always demand some unusual interpretation. They have twisted his letters around to mean something quite different from what he meant, just as they do the other parts of the scripture, and the result is disaster for them. That destroys all the lies that Suleiman was preaching that Peter was warning people of reading the letters of Paul. The revelation that Paul wrote in the Bible came from Jesus Christ. On the other hand, Suleiman claims that he met a Jesus who told him that the letters of Paul are Paul's revelations. Of course, Suleiman met another Jesus and has told him to preach another gospel. Such preachers should be accursed. The devil has raised his own servants to derail people and keep them in the broad way, thinking that they are going to heaven. Apostle Tarkim roars at these damnable errors and tells us that any preacher who claims that Paul made mistakes, they have slept or are about sleeping with their church members. You see, this end time is a terrible season. The end time is a terrible season that we find ourselves. Be careful who you listen to. I have told you, you could hear a little, you could hear truth in what they are saying. But if what they are teaching is not producing a life of righteousness, drop it away. Because we are saved. We have been saved. We shall be saved. We are saved. We are being saved by battling the footprint of the sin. And as we continue get to the Jordan we shall be safe when we get to heaven may God deliver the church from preachers who have tell the saints to go back to the cross and carry what have been held and they preach it in the name of a uh, grace in the name of grace some some say Paul make mistakes there, there are some errors in the Bible. When you hear, and those preachers who say, so go and check them, their morality. They are, before you hear a preacher coming to say, Paul, make mistake, he has slept with somebody in the church. Go and check them. Go and check all of them. Before, I say with authority, before you hear a preacher coming to say, Paul, make mistake, he has slept with somebody in the church, or he's a past sleeping with somebody in the church. And because they know that the Christians are dummy, they don't study the Bible, so they believe everything they say. Whenever you see a preacher saying Paul made mistakes and the Bible is not correct, just know they are about to take their members back to Egypt to take their old sinful nature that they had dropped, if at all they met Christ. They are about to lead people to hell while carrying their Bibles in their hands. To ensure they end up in hell, 
The devil clothes them with the prosperity of the wicked and keeps them comfortable in their sinful nature. Apostle explains further. Before you say a preacher discrediting Paul, picking holes in scriptures, they are about leading the church to go back and carry these things and begin to live a life that will take them to heaven, to hell. And they begin to ordain them into ministry, cover them a lot of things, glorify them with prosperity. Can I have some beautiful ladies' clothes? Let me show you what is happening to a lot of Christians. So I wish I have some golden clothes to cover him for him to look like a king. That is what the, the gospel of prosperity has done. It covered the church with prosperity of the wicked. And but we, are st we have gone back to the cross and carry all our sinful nature. And we are living it. And they are calling it our weakness. So Jesus is lamenting in the book of Revelation chapter 3. He said, you say you are poor, you are rich, but you are poor. You are naked. You are wretched. He's describing your sinful nature. He's describing you from the realm of the spirit. And when God raises his prophetic warning finger to point out the errors that such preachers are doing, their army of derailed sheep attack the prophetic warning finger and calls them names. However, Jesus is rescuing his sheep from such social clubs and money-making machines they call churches. Sadly speaking, believers who have gone back to the cross and carry all the character that the Holy Spirit wash, they are comfortable with such preaching. When they hear people like us, they hate us. And they say we are what? There are laws they call legalistic, holier than thou, deputy Jesus. Are you understanding me? Those people should be pitied because they have gone back to the cross to carry what Jesus nailed. Why? They are a city whose walls are broken down. They cannot apply discipline because the power of the cross has been replaced with olive oil. So it does not operate again. Look at that scripture again. Whoever have no rule over his own spirit. Do you have rule over your spirit? Can you control your passions? If you can't control, please, you need to meet the Lord. To help you with the controls. If you are sitting under a preacher who says Paul made mistakes, please run for your life before you close your eyes in death and find yourself in hell. Thanks for watching.